Yo, what is going on everyone? Shri Kanase here and welcome back to another Shopify video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how you can set up your shipping rates and your taxes so that you don't get screwed over when it comes to calculating your profits or when it comes to tax season. Because just personally, I was a little bit screwed over this tax season and the main reason was I was not charging taxes. So I decided let's go ahead and make a video on the shipping rates as well as taxes so you guys know exactly how you can make a little bit of more profit per order. But there are several things you have to know before we jump into this video. The first thing is that not every single person out there needs to charge taxes. I personally have to charge taxes because I reside in California and California is one of the states in the United States where charging for taxes is required. So if you're unsure as to whether or not your state requires it or if you're in another country, if your country requires that you charge taxes, I suggest that you do a little bit of searching on Google regarding your country's rules so that you're more aware of whether you should be charging taxes or not. But for the rest of the people, it's always better to be charging taxes just so you don't have to pay out of your pocket when it comes tax season. And even if your specific state or country doesn't require that you charge taxes, you make a little bit of extra profit. But without wasting any more time, let's jump right inside my computer and go over exactly how to set up your shipping rates and your taxes properly. Alright guys, so he, we're here inside my main niche Shopify store. This specific Shopify store has done around $160,000 just since this January. And since last January, it has done over $630,000. If you think I'm joking or whether I'm being honest or not, go ahead and check out the video that popped up in the top right. It shows a live screen recording of my Shopify store which I previously recorded. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to keep this only related to the shipping rates and the taxes. Alright guys, so the first thing that you need to do when you want to set up your shipping rates is to go ahead and from your dashboard, go ahead and click on settings so that you land right here on the settings page. I'm already here, so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and click on shipping. We're going to be setting up the shipping rates first. And as you can see, I've already done that myself, but I'm going to still be walking you through on exactly how this is done. But when you get to this page, especially if you're a brand new Shopify store owner, you're going to see that this is completely blank for you. First thing that you would need to do if this is the first time you're setting up your shipping is to go ahead and add a shipping zone. So I've already, as you can see, I've already done that, but you need to add two separate shipping zones. The first one is the rest of the world shipping zone. And the second one is the United States shipping zone, as you can see here. And when you're adding your shipping zones, what you want to be doing is you want to be creating weight based shipping zones. So as you can see right here under weight based, this is what you want to be adding your rates on. You want to avoid doing calculated rates or you want to avoid doing price based and only stick to weight based. But when you get to the weight based option and you want to choose specific rates, on my own Shopify store, I actually do charge for shipping because I've figured that if a person really wants to purchase from you, they're still going to purchase from you regardless whether you charge shipping or not. Unless you're charging like a really crazy amount for the shipping, generally, if your shipping rate is under $4, it should not be a big problem. So as you can see, for the rest of the world shipping zone, meaning worldwide shipping zone besides the US, I'm charging these people $3.73 for each package. And the main reason why the number is $3.73 and not something like $3.99 or $3.95 is because we want to keep these rates somewhat random. If you go on any shipping website like USPS, UPS, you can see that their shipping rates are somewhat a little bit random like $2.16, $2.66. So we want to follow that path and make it somewhat random for our numbers as well. But generally stay under $4 otherwise you're just going to drive the customer away. But as you can see $3.73 for worldwide shipping besides the USA and for the US I'm charging only $1.38 per package. But what I want to show you guys is a little trick that I use on my Shopify stores to increase the average order value per order. Now if you look at the shipping rate, I've done this within the shipping rate itself. So the first one is just standard shipping and I always include the shipping time which is 12 to 22 business days within this section right here. So when the customer is choosing the shipping options, they see this entire title right here which is standard shipping 12 to 22 business days. I don't want my customers to 
be surprised to find out that shipping does take about three weeks on my store because this is going to just lead to unnecessary problems such as chargebacks, refunds, etc. So always be really open with your customers. Let them know right away how much time it takes for your packages to ship. But the first option is this standard shipping and it costs $1.38. But the second option, which I've chosen, which a customer can choose along with the first option is standard insured shipping. I simply added the word insured shipping in this selection because in a way I'm offering them insured shipping, meaning if anything goes wrong, they're covered with this insurance because they chose standard insured shipping. And I increased the price of this to $2.56. So as you can see, I'm earning a dollar more profit just for offering the customer's insurance on their shipping. And there's nothing extra that you have to do on your side. It's just a little mental note for you that this person did choose insurance shipping. So if the packages do get lost, you're responsible for accurately shipping it again to them on time. Third option, which I've also provided to the customers, standard insured shipping plus free returns. And this option is $3.94. So again, we increase the price again by a dollar. So as you can see, we're earning more and more profit each time. And I'm offering these little incentives each time to make them want to pay more. So with this option, they're going to get the insured shipping, but also if they want to return the item, which is highly unlikely in most cases, they do get free returns. After shipping thousands of orders, I've only found that about 1% to 2% maximum have wanted to return their products. So in the end, I made a lot more profit with just with this order bump. So these are really easy ways for you to make more profit per order that you get. And the fourth option that I have for them is standard insured shipping plus free returns plus prioritized order, meaning their order gets shipped first before anybody else's. Now what I've personally told my suppliers, anybody who chooses this shipping option, I want my supplier to ship their product first. Forget about the other customer's products, theirs should also be shipped fast, but the person who chose prioritized order as their shipping option should get their order shipped first, meaning within 24 hours. And this is $5.23 extra. So as you can see, literally I made an extra $5 in profit just for offering these extra incentives which doesn't cost me anything extra really. So this is a really amazing way for you to make a little bit extra money and increase your average order value just by offering these bumps in the shipping. But along with these standard shipping options, I also do offer express shipping, meaning four to 10 business days. It depends on your supplier as well, so make sure to double check with your supplier whether this is true or not, but I offer $22.13 for the express shipping option. So these are the main shipping options that you need to have on your website. And the rest of the ones that I have here are just for free plus shipping offers. I already made a video on how to do free plus shipping. If you're interested in that, the link should have popped up in the top right. But the top five that I just went over with you guys are the ones you need to have for all of the regular items that you want to be shipping out. But let's go ahead and go back to the shipping zone so I can show you guys how to adjust the weights based on these shipping options. So as you can see right here, it tells you exactly the weights that I have set up. The first four weights are all 0.0, .0 pounds to 0.8 pounds. And I've set this for all of these first five actually, because all of the regular items which I want to charge shipping for are within this specific weight range. So if let's say I want to sell a product on my store, and I want to charge shipping for that product. And the product I'm going to sell it for $29.99. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the shipping weight of that product to 0.1. So as you can see, since that weight is between this range right here, which is 0.0, .0 to 0.8. Now, whenever someone tries to check out on that product, they're going to see all of these shipping options. And you can set the weight of that product to any weight that you want to be as long as it is between these ranges that you have set up. Normally I like to set it at 0.0, .0 to 0.8, just so I can have room for all of the other free plus shipping options. But once you do set up these rates, make sure to also set the weight of the product, every single product that to, that you add to your Shopify store to be within this range right here so that you get to charge the customer all of these shipping options and they can choose according to their own will. Personally, I've noticed that about 50% of the people go for the standard insured shipping and about 20% of the people actually go for this last option, which gives me an extra profit of $5.23. So it's a really crazy and easy way for you to earn more money on these shipping options. And this is exactly how you should have your shipping rate set up. Take advantage of free shipping. You don't have to just offer free shipping on your website for every single product. 
you can make it somewhat of a deal for them. What do I mean by this? What I mean is that you can set special sales on your website to basically give them free shipping if they order over $30 worth of items or $40 worth of items. And what this does is it really makes the person want to add more items to cart so that they can qualify for the free shipping. I have not set that up on my website. As you can see, there's no free shipping option, but that is a great way for you to give more incentive to the customer to add more items to cart so that you can make more money. But that's for standard shipping for the USA. Let's look at the worldwide shipping. So as you can see right here, the general layout is very similar for worldwide shipping. Let's go ahead and click on edit so you, got, you guys can see exactly what the options are for worldwide shipping. All right, so let's look at it right here. So as you can see, the first option again is standard worldwide shipping. And again, I've included the shipping time three to five weeks. And this option again, the range is zero pounds to 0 0.08 pounds. So you want to make sure that the product that you upload has the weight range between these options. The second option I have is standard insured worldwide shipping plus free returns. So as you can see, this option is $5.89. Now I don't really offer express shipping for worldwide because the express shipping cost gets a little bit overboard for worldwide shipping. So I just like to offer these two options again, just a little extra addition to the average order value and a little bit more profit inside your pocket. And these options below this one are again for the free plus shipping offers, but you wanna focus on these top two ones. Now that's normally how I do the shipping rates for my own Shopify store. You want to make sure that you correctly set up the weight ranges as well as the pricing. But now that we've gone over the specific shipping ranges, let's go ahead and go back to settings and look at our taxes. Again, it's really important for you to set up your taxes properly. And what I've personally noticed is that just charging taxes does not mean that your conversion rate is going to crash. This Shopify store that you see right here has a conversion rate of 3% to 5%. Now, of course, there's going to be fluctuations, but even with the fluctuations, the lowest that the conversion rate ever gets to is about 3%. So let's go ahead and go to our taxes section to show you guys exactly how what I do for taxes. Now, notice that I only charge taxes for the United States. All of these other countries I do not charge taxes on. So let's go ahead and go all the way down until you see the United States. This is what you normally want to do on your own Shopify store as well, just so you're pretty much prepared for tax season. So as you can see on United States, it says charging for me, but for you, it may say not charging. So all you have to do is go ahead and click on edit, or if you have not even set up your tax rates, you want to click on setup. But since I've done that, it's showing edit. So let's go ahead and click on edit. All right, guys. So this is where you get to choose specific taxes. Now there are several options for you as to how you can do these taxes. The first one is that you can just check the first box, which is to calculate taxes automatically. So what Shopify does is it has a pre-built system that calculates all of the taxes for the specific states. And when you do check this box, it's going to automatically update those taxes every new year if the tax rates do change. So you don't have to ever worry about changing the tax rates individually. So that's a great option if you're lazy like me and you just want Shopify to take care of everything. But the second option for you is to just choose the specific taxes you want to charge right here in the bottom column. Normally I'll have set all of this to zero and all you have to do is click on the reset to default taxes rates button and it'll fill up all of these boxes with the specific tax rate that is available right now. Or what you can do is you can edit these tax rates yourself and add the tax rates as you like. But what I would normally recommend is that you go with either this button right here or you go ahead and choose the first box. It just makes everything easy so you don't have to keep track of everything. But once you do check the box or you do enter all of the tax rates, it's automatically saved. But if it's not, you can go ahead and click the save button and you're pretty much good to go when it comes to taxes. A good way to check whether everything is set up correctly or not is to try checking out on your Shopify store and see whether you personally get charged for taxes or not. So what I did is I checked out on my own Shopify store just to show you guys whether this is working properly or not. And as you can see, it is working absolutely perfectly. The shipping methods all pop up in the left, all of the different selections and the customer gets to choose between these specific selection. And on the right, if you can see the taxes are automatically changed according to the shipping they choose because 
There is also an additional tax applied to the shipping option as well. But that should let you know that everything is set up properly and you can go ahead and do this for every single product that you have. Just make sure to correctly set up the weight ranges so that each product is charged taxes. But if you have enjoyed the video so far, do drop a like down below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if this is the first video that you're watching. But I'll see you guys next time.